Hey guys, 412 Sports Cards here today, back with another video. And today I'm going to be going over some different kind of categories of mistakes that I've made, being like a mistake in the moment and a mistake in hindsight as far as my collecting, my buying and selling decisions have gone. Now this video is going to be a little podcast-like since I'm going to be talking about cards I've sold that I don't have on display, but I do have behind us here um, LeBron and Acuna, two players of this discussion that I'm going to be talking about some of the mistakes I've made. So let's get right into it. The first type of mistake I made was a mistake in the moment, and that is where we're going to talk about LeBron. What did I do? I sold my 2003 Topps Chrome LeBron James PSA 9. I bought it in October 2019. It was under $700, and by the time we got to February of 2020 this year, it was up at about $1,700 or more. What essentially I did was I got lured in by the capturing that massive profit. I'd never had a card worth this much. I'd never had a card run up this much. And I got so intrigued by the idea of realizing the largest profit that I ever had. And what did I do? I sold it. And I did pretty well for myself. I made about 800 bucks after fees. But I quickly realized that I'd made a mistake in selling that card. Now the mistake was not in the fact necessarily that the card has gone up in value since. The card has increased from that 1700 mark, but that's not the point of this. The point of the mistake that I'm going to bring out here is that when I sold that card, I didn't have a better use in mind for that money. I all of a sudden was flush with all this, with all this cash to use in my card investments, and I didn't have really a purpose for it. When I thought about what I wanted to invest in, I kept saying and going back to my thinking that LeBron was the best investment in the market. And what did I do? I had just sold out of a premier card of his. Literally two weeks later, I found myself thinking that I would buy that card back at $1,800. But that was essentially the proof that I didn't have any better investments in mind at the time. And with this in mind, it kind of taught me a lesson that you should be asking yourself every time you sell something. You should be saying to yourself, do I have a better use from the money that I'll get from selling this card? That could be, you could be tight on cash, you could need that money for food, rent, any other personal expenses, 100% legitimate, I totally support that. Obviously, putting you know your life comes first, cards are just a hobby, you know, so that's obviously second. But if we're sticking with cards and card investments and you wanna recycle that money for your other investments, you should be asking yourself, would I be buying this card at the current price if I didn't have one? And for me with the LeBron, the answer was, yeah, I would have bought it if I just had 1800 in cash. Would I have bought a LeBron Chrome 2003 Topps Chrome PSA 9 if I didn't have one? And yeah, I would have. So essentially, that's showing that I made a mistake in my selling like mindset that I didn't thoroughly think through if selling that was a good decision for me based upon what my priorities were and based upon what I actually saw value in in the card market. Mistake type number two is more of, you know, your typical mistake, you know, you sold before a peak. And that would be like a mistake in hindsight, after you sell the card, you realize that, an, that there was like an error apparent. And that error was in your analysis of a player. My big example, selling my 2018 Top Series 2 Acuna, Acuna PSA 10, better known as the Bat Down. Obviously, his premier rookie, I pulled it and graded it myself, sold it for 400 bucks, and it's now a $2,000 card almost. So when I reflect on this mistake, I don't feel as bad as the LeBron because at the time I was definitely doing it with the right intentions. My intentions were right, and that's kind of step number one. Did I have the right intentions? And yeah, I did. I thought Acuna was kind of overhyped. I thought that the prices were shooting up really fast, which I mean they were to be fair at the time. And I put that money to use on 2018 like NBA Prism Basketball cards, which is what I wanted to do at the time. And it felt right. It felt like a good investment and it felt like a good way to diversify. So I have no mistakes made in that kind of selling logic. But what the mistakes were was in my analysis of the card market. And when you make a mistake as large and dollar amount as this one was, it really motivates you to learn from it. I learned the value of hype and of top prospects and that they can be the most pricey, but still have the most room for growth. And that was kind of a valuable lesson. Now for me, it took me making two large mistakes to kind of realize what I had done and kind of take away that I need to be more disciplined and thinking about if sell if I have better options for the money if I sell a card and more thorough 
and complete in my analysis of players that I'm selling and on their long-term or short-term outlook and if I'm selling too early. So you kind of need to keep all that in mind and it takes a long time to master um, these principles, but I think that if you can kind of soak in what I've talked about today, you can force yourself to make good investment decisions and not end up making the mistakes like I did and not have to pay the price of those mistakes. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was some good insight for you. Not a typical video, but I wanted to get some of this information that I thought was pretty valuable out there so that you guys can learn before it costs you. Anyways, I'll catch you next time and see ya.